It's been a while, but LG has finally come back to the tablet game with a release that is sure to make some waves. Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to unbox the LG G-Pad. Despite what felt like a pretty hefty package, it turns out the bulk is due to the device itself. Open up the flap and there it is, the 8.3 inch screen of the G-Pad. Lifting the tablet out of its section, the weight is definitely felt. 338 grams is really no joke. With the tablet out of the way, the box got incredibly light. And this is because the only extras were the micro USB cord and the plug adapter made for Europe. There is a manual included, but it's quite thin, and only gives a small look into the main functions of the G-Pad. Any other tutorials on other features are pretty much built into the tablet already. Now I already mentioned the weight of the tablet, and it is definitely something to look out for. Of note are the deliberate choices that LG made for their comeback tablet. For one thing, the dimensions were chosen in such a way to create a screen experience as large as possible, while still maintaining adequate handling in one hand. I definitely don't have large hands, but I'm still able to grip the tablet pretty easily with only minimal strain. LG also followed the trends and found that aluminum material is usually well received. So the front white panel does somewhat wrap around the top and bottom of the device, but once you make it to the back, most of it is made up of aluminum. It's a really nice feel and is somewhat refreshing for a tablet. Definitely a plus in this first impression. The only physical buttons are on the side for power and volume rockers, while on top there is a small covered up slot for micro SD cards. You will be able to expand the storage in this LG G pad. Getting through the initial setup is pretty easy, and soon enough I got to the now tablet-sized Optimus UI. That will probably be the main part of the software to look out for, how LG's operating system fares on a much larger screen. With a Snapdragon 600 powering this device, however, we're pretty sure it'll still be a snappy experience. To bridge the gap between the phone and the tablet, LG did add in the QPair function, which tries to consolidate both experiences. The classic QSlide apps make it onto here as well, along with the Slide Aside, all of which are functions that we'll get to in the full review. We're really excited to see LG get back into the tablet game, especially after continuing to put out great releases like the LG G2. Stay tuned for our full review of the G-Pad coming soon, along with a couple future-focused videos. Definitely one on the QPair, at the very least. Stay tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage because we're your source for all things Android.